let's get right into it. So once we press the down key, uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna set. Well, first we actually want to move our character. So if you actually want to go above and beyond and actually move your character, then you're gonna have to. Then we have our player position there already. So what you're gonna want to do is put player position. Uh y plus equals and then we're gonna have to do uh speed move speed times game time dot elapsed game time dot total seconds now uh you guys are probably saying okay what is this right now well let me show you okay so let me set let's set a variable called move speed and let's set this to five hundred so our move speed our move speed is going to be the speed that which we move at and then our game time is going to actually multiply by the amount of time that has passed since the last frame so um why do i set my move to speed to 500 it doesn't mean that i'm going to be moving 500 pixels to the right right away but it's by how many seconds uh since the last frame so it's hard to really explain but you'll see what will result in the end so temp current frame dot y is equal to zero since down is um the first frame animation so we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna be doing if uh if keys up then I'm gonna set the position let me just copy this so we're just going to do minus equals and this is going to be equal to 3 and then else if key state dot is key down keys right and let me paste that switches to x and it's going to be equal to 2 I believe yeah so 0 1 2 for right and for left we're gonna do the same thing keys left and paste it in there it's gonna be minus equals and frame.x is gonna be equal to one and this would be y my bad so that's gonna be equal to one and the last thing for else we're gonna set player animation dot active equals to false so if you're not moving it sets it to true by default and then assumes that you're moving but if you're not pressing any of those buttons then it resets it to false again and then it goes on with the player animation down here so we change our player position but it's not actually gonna uh, change our position on the map because we don't actually indeed update our position in the animation class so we just have to do player animation dot position is equal to player position sorry and everything should then work fine so if we were to run our program let's see what we get so if I press down it's not really changing it oh sorry this is what I forgot to do and the player's not moving because uh well I'm not really sure but one what we should do we're supposed to do player animation dot current frames equal to temp current frame so we've actually created our current frame we've changed it over here we have to set that value right here so this is how we do it if we run this program again if I press down, it does a down animation. If I press right, it does the right animation. If I press up, there's an upward animation, and so on and so forth. Now, um, a problem that you'll have is that um, temp, the temp current frame is always going to be reset to default again, right? And we're changing, we're indeed changing the current frame y, but we want to keep the current frame x the same. So what we have to do is that before we actually indeed make player animation dot current frame equal to temp current frame, 
we have to make sure that temp current frame dot x is equal to player animation dot current frame dot x and I know that might sound confusing but we just have to set it so that the x values are the same so it doesn't change when we reset it back to current frame so then let's run this one last time and see what we get so we get a nice smooth animation when we run our program so I'm not sure why it is not moving it should move oh mate oh yeah the same thing for the position as well because uh, what we have to do before we change position at the top is saying a player position is equal to player animation dot position and once we do that then our player should actually move I don't know why the player is not moving uh, I'll have to look into that. I'll make an update in the next tutorial, or actually, I'll pause it and show you. So the problem was that we never set a default position for player position. Also, um, for the update, we casted these to integers, but we want to class it to float because if we cast it to integers, uh, then it will return the this whole value equals zero and move speed divided times zero is always going to be equal zero the reason being is that because it's going to be a decimal number mostly going to be zero point something or such so uh, that's reason being and the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys in depth about how the game time library works and how we do it like this so anyways that's it for this tutorial uh, if we look at the end results uh, this is what we get so I lowered down the move speed so it looks a bit slower and looks a bit choppy on my screen uh, but if it looks a bit choppy there's ways you can smoothen it out and I'll show you guys how to do that in, in subsequent tutorials so hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching it and bye